Hello everyone and welcome to ACAD Guild. In this video, we'll see how to work with index function. Now, previously we have seen match function. Match basically gives us the position number, relative position number in the array. So if I type as 300, it will give me 4. If I type as 5 allowances, it will give me some position number. But what exactly index will do? Index will give you the value on that position number. Okay, now it comes the opposite. So if you give the position number, it will give you the value here. Suppose if you ask position number 4, if you see, and position number 3, what is the value? So it will give you the answer as $7 here. Okay, $7. If you ask the position number as 6 and position number as 2, the answer it will give you as 10. So you give the position number and it will give you the values. So index will give you the values at that particular position now but before that what we'll do is uh, we have seen how to work on this match function e equal to match lookup value comma that's my table array that is lookup array comma zero so i'll get the position number of 300 same way i'll try to find out the position number of this allowance comma that's my table array or lookup array comma zero and close the bracket enter so I have got the position numbers four and six okay four stands for the row number if you see that's a row number and column number is how much six so how much is the value I'm expecting that is four dollars how do I get it okay so we have a function named as index functions so basically if I give the row number and column number I'll be getting the tax amount equal to index okay so before I complete the you know the function here here if you see the tooltip returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column okay so intersection of row and column done so I'll press tab key from my keyboard now there are three parameters array comma row number comma column number so what is the array you want I have this array do not select the column heading and the row heading okay so my array starts whatever is highlighted in the yellow color that's my array here comma what is the row number you want so I have already found out using this match function the relative position number so row number is 4 at the moment comma and what is the column number column number is 6 at the moment because if you see that's a sixth column and close the bracket so once I press enter key intersection of fourth row let's find out fourth row and fifth column I should sixth column I should get the answer as four dollars okay let's see enter and four dollars if I enter here as 400 and if I enter here as two 400 income and two as allowance so how much is the intersection I'm getting as eight see because of this the values are changing and because of this this particular value is changing so 402 400 that's a row number and 2 is the column number so how much is the value I'm getting as nine dollars okay so nine dollars I made a mistake here that is 400 and allowance is 2 so answer should be given as 8 so you see answer is given as 8 once again let's try again equal to index tab key the first one is array the yellow highlighted portion is array comma row number I'll select the row number from here comma and the column number is this one now instead of row number column number why I'm selecting the cells it is dynamic I can also put here as row number three comma column number four which would be making no sense if it is rigid it will make no sense so we'll make it as dynamic by selecting this one as row number comma that's the column number close the bracket enter so I'm getting the answer as you know what I'm getting the answer as eight dollars you can just put here as four so four hundred and four dollar as the allowances you're getting how much six if you see the answer you're getting six if you want to work with more advance in the sense we can combine this two and this third formula or third function into one cell how let us see that I'll just type it here itself e equal to index e equal to index the first one would be the same that is the array comma now whatever function is written here okay that's a match function 
instead of selecting this D13 cell number, why not write the match function here itself? Match, what do I want to match? That's my lookup value, comma, that's my lookup array, comma, zero. Close the bracket. So this is, this will, this output will give me as row number. Okay, row number, comma. Now let's try to work with the column number. So if you want the output as the row number and column number, you have to always use the match function. Basically, if you want to give the relative position, use the match function. So equal to, oh, you don't have to type equal to, the magic would be just press tab key and that your lookup value, comma, lookup array, comma, zero. See, that's nothing new. I'm just trying to combine both the match functions inside the index function here. Okay, and once you press enter, you're getting the same value. So even if I delete this values, okay, this will change because that's a dependent one, but this will not change. Okay, if I type 200, if I type as six, six is not there, four or two, you'll get the answer here, right? So this is very easy and simple method for working with index. So basically, if you want the position number in the array, use match function okay if you want the value on that position use the index function right so i hope you have understood how to work on index function and that's all for this video hey guys if you like the video please support us by clicking on the like button and subscribe the channel for further new upcoming videos on excel thank you i can't count Average is dead.